Checking out our forecast, Chelsea, we're going to be able to enjoy this mild stretch of weather a little bit longer, right? We really are. A few more days, in fact, and some days are actually going to be even warmer than what we deal with throughout the day today. The trade-off is that we're going to deal with some rain, and of course, we'll cover all of that, including your game day forecast. Here's a look first at Cape May, our camera that's live there atop the Montreal end. You can see a couple of clouds located just offshore, but really a beautiful start. Tons of sunshine glowing on uh, those buildings right now, and then here's a live look at our roof cam. You can see we've got the blue skies as we start out the morning as well, but we have clouds that are going to be on the increase throughout the day today, so the sunshine is not going to last all day. Temperature wise, though, we are very similar to where we were this time yesterday, especially right along the I-95 corridor. That's a good sign because we have plenty of time for those numbers to climb once again. I don't think it's going to be as warm as what we dealt with yesterday afternoon when we uh, topped out in the mid upper 50s some locations, but I think we're looking at low 50s as we head into the latter part of the afternoon today. It is 33 degrees right now in Philadelphia, 27 in Millville. Down the shore, we're right around 30 degrees in Wildwood, 29 in Atlantic City. We're rather warm in Allentown, almost 40 degrees there as we start out your Sunday morning, almost 40 degrees in Trenton as well, 31 in the Poconos. Looking at the winds, they're calm in many locations from Redding all the way down to the shore, also into Delaware, very light uh, in Philadelphia, right around six miles per hour. Yesterday, we did have to deal with that wind chill factor as we started out the day and it was a rather gusty afternoon, but the winds will not be getting in the way of the tailgaters. They won't be getting in the way of the football players either later on. On this evening. So here's your tailgate forecast, a mix of sun and clouds as we start out uh, those early birds at noon. Some of them are already there, of course, 45 degrees by two o'clock, 48 degrees. Very pleasant out there. Light winds expected throughout the day and then turning mostly cloudy, and that's actually going to happen rather quickly as we head into the latter part of the afternoon. And by game time, we're going to, going to be dealing with plenty of clouds out there, but 47 degrees. How does that sound? I mean, for football in January, this is almost ideal uh, what we're going to be dealing with later on this evening. And believe it or not, the warmth actually favors the Eagles. There's been three games in Eagles playoff history where the kickoff temperature has been 40 degrees or higher, and the Eagles happen to win all three of those games. In addition, outscoring their opponents 27 to 15. So it looks like this warmer, mild weather is good news for the birds. On Storm Scan 3, it shows that we are very, very quiet across the Delaware Valley. We do have clouds located out to our west. Those are going to be moving in from west to east. They'll also be thickening up throughout the day today. So that's why that sunshine is kind of uh, going to go away rather quickly as we head into the afternoon with those clouds moving on in. We're tracking a system located out to our west. That's going to be bringing rain to portions of the Tennessee Valley as we head into Monday. Uh, Monday night, we're looking at it moving into the Ohio Valley. And then by Tuesday morning, it's going to be pushing into our neighborhood. And we could actually have some moderate to heavy rainfall at times. This cold front's going to be swinging on through. So the breeze is going to kick up as well. And that breeze is actually going to stay with us even as we head into uh, Wednesday behind the front. So highs in the 50s while the front arrives. It's all the way through Tuesday. Look Looking good though for the Eagles looking dry, then the rain's going to be arriving by Tuesday morning. Behind the rain, temperatures are going to drop and drop pretty significantly. 44 degrees by Wednesday, 38 on Thursday, but that's actually rather seasonable for this time of year and certainly numbers that we can handle after the January we have had. Looking at high temperatures today, right along I-95, around 50 degrees, and then down the shore, upper 40s. We're looking at low 40s in the Poconos. Your eyewitness weather, seven day forecast, 57 on Tuesday. Grab the umbrella, 44 on Wednesday and 38 on Thursday.